There's a big bass attacking my little bass. No, the boat! The boat! <laughs> our new Nitro Z21 Bass Pro Shop Edition boat. Uh, yeah, kind of playing jokes on you guys and we're actually gonna be testing out this little remote control boat, seeing if we can catch some fish. It has a little hitch on the back where you can uh, add some line and the bobber and stuff. I got all that in a box over there with me, but uh, we're gonna be putting it to the test today and see if we can catch something here. Just at a little local urban pond. So let's get to the action. All right, guys, talk about this neat little boat that we're gonna be testing out today. It is remote control. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a GoPro mounted on the front. See if we can catch anything. Yeah. So, uh, put that on right now. But let me show you guys what we're gonna be tossing with it. She got some little grub lures, electric chicken, and uh, midnight blue, just little crappie magnets on some, uh, I think this is a 16th of an ounce. Yeah, 1 16th of an ounce head. And uh, the line's got a little bobber and stuff. So, I'll show you guys the whole setup once it's going. I'm gonna get it rigged up right now. Boom, that is gonna be the juice, I hope. All right, here's a little remote for this guy. And I did bring a fish and pull in case we need to uh, catch it somehow. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is getting caught on something. Cause that could be pretty serious. So, let's turn this on. I think you just do that, that. There you go, forward, backwards, left, right. Go test it by this waterfall, actually. I don't know how I'm gonna get this back out, but I might just drop it in. Let's see what happens. Here goes nothing. Oh, and the first thing it did is flip right over because my GoPro. <laughs> well. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's a nice bird's nest, all right. All right guys, we got this thing re-rigged. I like went a lot shorter on the line compared to what it came with and what it originally had. Uh, so we're gonna try this out in this corner one more time, see if we can get out of here. I saw some fish in this corner, so that's why I'm really tempted to just stay in this area. Decided to get in the water. It's really cold, but uh, hopefully this pays off. Where are you going? Left the trolley motor down or something. guys just pulled up to location number two because the first one was kind of uh, not working out we're just running this thing out the normal balls to the wall because uh, how am I gonna get in this this is exactly what I needed drop it down I'm about to say is it not on There we go, we're just gonna troll it through. I might cut the engine and see if we can get them to just peck at it. Oh, oh, it's getting hit. <laughs> oh, there's a bass chasing it. No way that that bass is gonna go after it. I would die. <laughs> this thing's getting stuck warmed oh they're popping it that's the trick i gotta keep it moving if the hook was a little bit smaller i have smaller hooks i might swap out oh 
Oh, 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 it's got a bass. It's got a bass. It had a bass, it took it under. It almost took the whole boat under, dude. Oh my goodness, I was just cutting circles like this and it took it. It almost took the whole boat under. You just can't set the hook, so it wasn't able to uh, do anything. Oh my God, I thought I had a bass for a second that we were gonna keep it. It literally took the whole boat under the water. Oh, there's a big bass chasing this. <laughs> just cutting circles. So guys, we are rigging up a smaller hook because I've had a ton of pops, but uh, nothing actually be able to take it. We even had a bass take the boat halfway underwater and almost sink this thing. Unfortunately, there's no way to like set the hook though. So unless they kind of get themselves stuck in there, uh, it's kind of just crossing your fingers and hoping that they do. Some huge bass, I'm just swiping at them. Oh, oh man, I almost had one. That was it, that was the one I missed. I hit the kill switch at the right time. We gotta go back around. This is the spot, this is where the bigger gills are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. It's a mercury. It's got it. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the size of that bluegill. Dude, that is something else. What in the world? This bluegill is about half the size of this boat. And that's why you get mercury engine, guys. Look at this ugly, ugly looking bluegill. We were able to pull them out with the Z21 Nitro. That is insane. Can you believe that? Look at this fish, look at this boat. I don't even know how we got it, but we got it, finally. This thing is insane. Like I've never caught a bluegill this big. It's two hands. And that's because I had a bass even bigger than this come at it and we weren't able to get it down. That slab of a, of a gill. I cannot believe it. He came up and smoked that thing last second. So pissed. Yeah, he stinks, but I was able to even pull him out over here. I got lucky that there was a spot I can get in at. <laughs> if we can get one more on the boat, that's a successful trip. And then I'm just going to start kind of fishing a little bit. What time is it? Well, that went in my finger. Oh, I got a bass. Yeah, while it was moving. There we go, it's jumping. That's how you troll for them. A bigger one just, just is attacking that bass. Babe, get my pole, get my pole. Wrap it on this. There's a big bass attacking my little bass. No, the boat, the boat. Oh my god. Holy crap, there was a huge bass that tried to kill this bass. That is insane. Look at the bite marks on this bass right here. Wow, look at that, huge bite marks where another bass was trying to swallow it whole just because it was out on my lure freaking out. That is insane guys, I got this little guy trolling. Oh my God, I got all that on film too. That is insane. Look at those bite marks, like you cannot lie, that is a huge bass, it's the size of my hand. Coming up trying to just eat this bass. Did you see the other bass trying to eat this? Talk about a bass boat. 
All right, guys, so we got a bass and we got a gill. We almost had like a 10 pound bass. That is insane. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. All right, guys, what a crazy day, crazy experience on the new Nitro uh, Z21 boat that we picked up at Bass Pro Shop. Landed a nice bass, uh, not a huge one, but you know, exactly what we could take on this boat. And it almost got eaten by like a three or four pounder. I'm not even sure. I'll have to slow mo that and watch when we get home. But that is insane. I can't believe we did that. Also, got a huge bluegill. Uh, so this is a fun little challenge. Uh, shout out to my boy Nathan. He actually tossed this thing to me that he picked up at Bass Pro Shop. It's kind of a gag gift that his dad got him, said he got him a new boat. So it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. Also, make sure you go ahead and set, hit that bell so that we can see more videos like this in the future. Uh, if you you know want to see some more boat videos, do some more challenges like this, please let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely down to bring it out more and shout out some new stuff. Maybe put some big swim baits on it. Uh, put some extra floaties or something. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time. Peace.